just really excited because today I am five weeks. And, um, excuse my hair, it's gonna look a mess right now because I just got out of the shower. And I just washed it, and now it's all curly and nice, but that also means that it's gonna be all over my head until it dries and does what it's supposed to be doing, which is like this tucked over here, and this being like back there somewhere. I don't know, I don't care. Anyway, so I'm really excited to come with this video because, um, I don't know, I just, I'm just fired up. I just want to get as far as possible and then at the end, have a baby. Like, <laughs> nothing, I want nothing more right now than to be like, hey guys, I'm five weeks. Oh my God, this is amazing. I love it. Ooh. And the next thing you know, I'm like, hey guys, I'm 35 weeks. I got five weeks to go. And the next thing you know, I'm like, there's a baby in my arms. Rock, rock, rock. I actually had one. I know, it sounds like it's crazy, but I just want this pregnancy to be over. I just, it's just the fact that sometimes I get nervous and I'm all like, wait, am I having symptoms right now? Is this a symptom of me being pregnant or is this just me being crazy? I'll be like, is this a symptom of me having a miscarriage or is this a symptom of me losing the baby or am I just being a crazy person? Like all of this stuff runs through my mind so much that I just can't figure out how to just... Just relax and calm down and have a great time. I'm like an angel and I've got like a halo or something. I don't understand why it's doing that. I feel like I should just put this blanket here so that no one can be distracted as as for my my glowiness. Um, anyway, so some crazy things have happened this week. Um, this week was Valentine's Day and it was great. <laughs> Uh, I was so excited because I have actually never celebrated Valentine's Day before. I was never one of those kinds of people that wanted to do it. Um, um, whatever, you may be one of those people that are like, I love Valentine's Day, it's just great. Not me. I've never celebrated it before. So this year I thought my guy and I, we were going to celebrate together. And then he's all like, I got to work that day. And so I was very upset. You know, I had never celebrated before. And I was like, this was supposed to be my year. Like... <sighs> I was very upset, but uh -oh, the next day, which was amazing. So the next day, my guy sends me, my guy sends me on the scavenger hunt to all of our amazing places. Like the place where we had our first date, like um, the cafe where I first saw him play. Cause my guy plays music, he plays the guitar. Um, like his, he works at a fine dining restaurant. So he sent me there and at each place that he took me to, well, that I went to myself, um, he had books ready for me and it was just great. It was, it was amazing because as like, I don't know if you guys know, but I am an avid reader. I read a lot and I, I'm, I probably have over 500 books and, um, and it just, it was like, he really gets me. He knows who I am as a person. And I love it. I love it. It's amazing. So I was like half crying, half like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. And so the final place that I saw him was at the place where we had our first date. And he was sitting at the bar waiting for me. And I just, I was like, this is probably the most romantic thing anyone has ever done for me. And I loved it. Yeah. Um, and the crazy thing is that I don't think he understands how pregnancy works. I don't think he does. Like, do guys understand? I'm not sure. The, the sacrifices that we have to make to be healthy for our bodies so that our, our children are healthy. I just don't think he understands because we go out to dinner and he's like, um, he's like, baby, oh, this is so good. You should taste this drinking an alcoholic beverage. I'm like, Hmm, honey, I, no, I'm not gonna do that. He's like, why, it's so good, you should try it. I was like, I cannot have any alcohol. And he's like, it's just a sip. So, he's like, baby, just try it, blah, blah, blah. I'm saying no, right? So then we get over to the eye and we're hanging out on the grass and we're eating ice cream and we're just having a great time. And we usually go smoke hookah. I love hookah, if you don't like it, I don't really care. I love it. It's amazing. And we're um, walking around and there's this nice cute little, 
hookah lounge with his little couches. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And he's like, yeah, we should go in there. We had another hour before we go on the ride. And I'm like, I don't think you understand how this works. Disclaimer here, if you smoke and you drink and you do it while you're pregnant, that is on you. That's not something I'm going to do. That's not something that I'm judging you for. Do you? Anyway, I'm not going to do that. I will never do that. I don't think it's right. I was just like, baby, listen, you don't understand. So I sit him on the grass and I say, listen, these are the things that I can and can't do while I'm pregnant that I will not do. And you can either take them or you can take them because you're not going to leave them. So, and he was happy with that. Or at least he's going to have to be because we got the next eight months for me not to be doing them. It sucks. I know he should probably have a best friend that he could do things with. That's not a girl. And I will be very happy with that. Anyway, so it was just the greatest time ever. It was amazing. It was romantic. I cried a little bit. I was scared to go on the huge ride thing. And it was just great. All in all, Valentine's Day was great. Um, I went to the pregnancy center. So I knew that um, once you have your baby and you're on their list as a been there while you were pregnant they will give you free baby clothes they will give you like and a lot of people donate these things um they're not used they're just things that people donated because they're nice and um out of the kindness of their hearts so you can get free baby food i mean some people even go as far as donate cribs they don't put it together for you but they'll donate a, a crib for you and then like a changing table and like a you know anything else that you need um I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's the best time of my life. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Most of my symptoms have been pretty much um, like they were last week. I was having a little bit of nausea, not really any vomiting, but um, I've been eating breakfast every morning. So I make myself um, two eggs. I make myself two pieces of bacon with, the, with toast. So I make a sandwich and then um after that i eat whatever i want for the rest of the day i'm eating a lot of food like a lot like way more than what i'm used to even eating myself and i just don't understand where it's going because as i'll show you at the end of the video i haven't really gained any weight i haven't other than that let's move on to books I'm so excited because I love books. I love them. 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 They're so great. And when I say great, I mean like amazing. Here's one. This is your pregnancy week by week. And I got it. Self-explanatory. Week by week of your pregnancy. And I love it. I think it's great. It really does go over the things that you need to know. Um. Uh, seventh edition one so I guess it's the newest one I'm not exactly sure that I have that I actually really love um, it's called pregnancy and birth so it's one that's gonna grow with you this one I actually got from a used bookstore I don't know if you can see everything but it's got different categories in it um, so what this one does it literally answers your questions so any questions that you have they will be answered. So I just wanted to update you guys. This is possibly a very long video. Hopefully by the time I start putting these videos out, my editing skills will be a lot better than they were the last time I tried to do a pregnancy vlog. If they are, yay! I'm very excited and I hope that you guys decide to subscribe to my channel and see how this pregnancy ends up. If this the editing is not as good as it was last time, then um or even better, uh, please still subscribe. Give me some ideas. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Give me, uh, I'm just saying, help me help you love me.